Now let's take a look at the person class, the exercise from your chapter book, exercise number 9.8 on page 458. Implement a superclass person. Make two classes, student and instructor, that inherit from person. A person has a name and a year of birth. A student has a major and an instructor has a salary. Write the class declarations, the constructors and the methods to string for all classes. Supply a test program that tests these classes and methods. As I've thought in class that every time you see a problem, the first thing you want to do is mark the text. As I've shown you in class, you need to underline the text that's given to you, circle the text that you need to find, and asterisk for important keywords. So the first thing I would do is I would color code it. So all the data that's given to me is going to be in yellow color. Super class person, name, year of birth, student has a major, instructor has a salary. So these are the things that's given to us. Now let's highlight the things that we need to find. So I'm going to choose the color dark blue for the things that we need to find. So I'm going to highlight student, instructor, inherit from person, class declarations, constructors, do string, test program. So these are the things that I need to do in my program. Now let's take a look at understanding our person class. When we draw the UML diagram in here, our person class is a super class, but the problem description. And we have student class and we have instructor class and they both extend the person class. As per our instructions in our problem, they say the person has a name and year of birth. Same thing student will have a name and year of birth instructor will have a name and year of birth so if you see these two information is common to all three classes next a student will have an additional field major what is he majoring in an instructor will have additional field the salary now these are our data fields now let's take a look at what actions that a person class can do so the person class will have the following methods get name get birth year and will have two string method so get name is going to return the name of the person get birth year is going to return the year of birth and two string will print the person's name and year of birth now let's take a look at the student class what actions the student class is going to do the two methods that we are going to create in student classes get major and two string get major is going to return the major of the student and two string is going to print the name of the student year of birth of the student and what he is majoring in or what she is majoring in so in here we are going to invoke the two string method from the person class and in here we are going to invoke the constructor for name and year of birth from the person class. Now let's take a look at instructor class. The two methods that instructor will have is get salary and to string. So get salary method is going to return the salary of the instructor and to string is going to print the name of the instructor, year of birth of the instructor and the salary of the instructor. Again, we are going to invoke the super class two string method because that is printing the name and the year and then we are printing the salary. Also, we are going to invoke name and year of birth constructor from a person class because name and year of birth constructor is available in a super class person. So we are going to invoke the super class constructor to get the name and year of birth. So when you run your program, your program should look like this. My name is Tom. I was born in year 1994. That is for the person class. A person has a name and he has year of birth. Next a student. So my name is Alice and I was born in year 1992. I major in English. So now student has a name, has year of birth and a major. Now third is my name is Tim and I was born in year 1970. I make $30,000 a year. 
So now my third statement has a name, year of birth and the salary. So now let's go open up your Blue Jay or Eclipse. Now first things first, let's create a person class. As we know that person would have a name and a year of birth and the person will have three methods get name that will return the name of the person get birth year that will return the year of birth of the person and two string method that will print the person's name and year of birth this is your basic class and you all know how to create your class with instance fields constructors and methods so go ahead and complete your person class with the following instance field names name and year of birth and the following methods get name get birth year and two string method now once you've completed the person class don't forget to come back to the video and watch my instructions on creating your student class and instructor class student class now a student has name year of birth and a major now let's create a student class when we create a student class, keep one thing in mind that student class is extending the person class, that's the super class. Now student class is a subclass which is extending the super class. Now person already has name and year of birth, so we don't need to initialize these two instance fields in a student class. All we need to initialize is major. So let's create a student class. The first thing when we create a student class, you need to make sure in your class heading, you're giving public class student extends person. Now when I type the keyword extends, that tells that the subclass student is extending the person class. So person is the parent class or the super class and student is the subclass. Now the next thing we want to do is create a constructor. So when we create a constructor, we're going to initialize values for our student. Remember, student will have a name, year of birth, and a major. Now keep one thing in mind, name and year of birth is already provided to you by the person class. So why initialize these values again? So in your constructor, the very first line would be invoking your super class constructor because our super class constructor has the name and year of birth of a person. So how do I invoke the super class? And I'm going to write super keyword and then opening and closing parentheses. In between the parentheses, I would need my two parameters, one for person name and one for year of birth. This person name comes from the parameter here in your constructor heading and year of birth comes from your constructor heading from here. Now the next thing is you want to initialize your person major. So you get the parameter person major and assign the value to your instance field major. So this is what your finished constructor would look like. You're invoking your super constructor. Now get major is a method that will return the major of the student and you know how to do that. So I'm going to move on to the next method to strength. Now two string method, this is where you would invoke your super class method. Now uh, two string method is type string, so you want to have a return statement that will return the string to be printed. So you want to print that my name is whatever and I was born on the year whatever and I major in your subject. So when I say my name is, this is my string, I'm concatenating it with the value that I'm going to get it from my super class. Now keep in mind I have get name method and that get name method is available in our person class and since student class is extending the person class I can use the person class methods. So how do I use the person class method? I'm going to say super dot get name and then I'm going to use my concatenation operator combined with string and I was born on the year Now I'm going to supply the value of the year so again I'm going to invoke the super class method by saying super dot get year and then plus I'm going to concatenate and I'm going to say I major in and I'm going to print the uh, instance field value major this is what is invoking super class method
So now pause the video, go ahead and create your student class. Once you're done creating your student class, you would create your instructor class. Next is the instructor class. Now keep one thing in mind, your instructor class is extending the person class, which is the super class. The instructor will have a name, year of birth, salary. Now name and year of birth are coming from a person class, that's the super class. You just need to initialize the value for salary. The instructor will have two methods, get salary, which will return the salary of the instructor, and then two string method, which will print the instructor's name, year of birth, and salary. Now you'll follow the same guideline as in your student class, you would create instructor class and don't forget to extend it to the person class. And then you would create your constructor and in your constructor you are changing, instead of saying major, you're changing it to person salary and then you're going to invoke your super constructor and then you're going to initialize your person salary value. A two string method you will invoke super class method to print the name year of birth and the salary of the instructor now once you're done creating your student class and instructor class you will test so create a person tester class create person object with appropriate arguments create student object with appropriate arguments create instructor object with appropriate arguments print the result for each by invoking the toString method. Now when you're done, your output would look something like this. The three statements that's printed. For the person object, my name is Tom and I was born in the year 1994. For the student object, my name is Alice and I was born in the year 1992, I major in English. And for the instructor object, my name is Tim, I was born in the year 1970, and I make $30,000 a year. Now once your program is complete, make sure you have Java docs on all the classes and each method has Java documentation as explained in class. Turn in your program for grades.